Does the rise in price in groceries kind of hurt your wallet a little bit? If so, I think I have a solution that might help you a little bit in your daily life on cutting down on your grocery bills. Stay tuned and find out how. Welcome back everyone, I'm Matt Larson, and this video is definitely something completely different that I've never done before. Uh, this is almost going to be like an informational video, but not about politics. It's going to be about how you can cut down your grocery bills a little bit and try to save your family a little bit of money because we all know that the rising grocery costs and the cost of food due to the Federal Reserve and the devaluation of the dollar, things cost more. And budgets are definitely getting a little bit tighter. What I'm talking about is actually going out and catching your own food, particularly fish. Uh, I'm a very avid uh, fisherman. I've gone all over. I've fished in Canada, Minnesota, many different other states. Uh, and you can do it in most states that you live in. I know almost every state has lakes where you can go and do some type of fishing, whether it's uh, river fishing or open water or even ice fishing like I love to do. And the reason why I bring this up is because fish can be a very healthy alternative to different red meats. Uh, fish is high in protein. It's also lower in saturated fat, total fat, and calories compared to red meats in the same types of proportion. Fish is high in omega-3 fatty acids, which helps your blood to be less likely to clot, causing a heart attack. Uh, some of the risks, though, that come with eating tons of fish is if you eat farm uh, fish that are raised at farms, uh, not like literally like cattle ranch farms, but like literally a fish farm, uh, there is a chance of building up pollutants in your body due to the contaminations that they could have in their feed. So that's why I always talk, go and catch your own fish from a stream or a lake. It's much safer that way. Uh, they also say that kids under the age of five and pregnant women should avoid it due to some levels of mercury in the fish. Uh, the mercury can affect the fetus in the woman's body. Uh, but fresh fish is the best. They also say to try to alternate types of fish because certain types of fish, mostly salt water and stuff like that, they seem to have higher amounts of mercury and different pollutants in them. Fresh water is the way to go. And I absolutely love it. I'm going to show you some photos right here. Uh, that you're looking at. This was actually from earlier today. I went out and caught these and I think fishing too is a great thing for you to go do with your family. You can teach your kids at a young age uh, to go out and live off the land a little bit. I know you're not going to want to eat fish every single day because it does get old. There are many different ways of cooking fish though. I personally, I don't always eat the healthiest and I fry my fish. I deep fat fry them. I put them in a nice batter and wow, are they amazing with a little bit of lemon on top. But you guys would really enjoy it, and it is just a great sport. As you're seeing right now, we caught a huge, about 11-pound northern today, and we released it. It was in between that area where it was too big to eat, but too small to mount, and sometimes you just gotta do the hard thing, even though I really didn't want to. My buddy put his 11-pound northern back. It was the biggest northern he's ever caught. But I think it teaches a good uh, self-discipline, too, in fishing because it would be easy for you to just go out and poach as many fish as you want and just do that illegally. Now, do we think that there should be limits uh, on how many fish you can catch and keep? That's up for debate at a later time. But definitely, fishing and eating fish is a healthy alternative than going down to the supermarket and going and purchasing some meat that you don't know where it came from, you don't know how it was raised, and you don't know how it was fed. So I hope that this guy this helps you guys out a little bit. If you guys have any question, questions about fishing or other types of ways to obtain your own food, hit me up down below in the comment section. I'll be more than glad to answer any questions you guys have. But for now, I ask that you guys please thumbs up this video, share it with friends and family. If you're new to my videos, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the current political news and sometimes fishing news. As always, I'm Matt Larson. Go Ron Paul. Peace.